Hi again, everybody. Thank you for your company with these reflections once again. We're looking at Philippians. We're in chapter one. Yesterday, we were, we were talking about confidence, the confidence that Paul has in the work that Christ is doing in uh, us, his disciples. So verse seven uh, continues that theme like this. It is right, he says, for me to feel this way about all of you, since I have you in my heart, and whether I am in chains or defending and confirming the gospel, all of you share in God's grace with me. So don't forget, Paul was writing to a church community that clearly he knew relatively well. He knew what God was up to uh, in the midst of that community. And he knew the strength of, of fellowship, the strength of uh, ability and opportunity that was going on there. Um, so in doing that, in enabling himself to do that, he was... Um, able to express such confidence in God's work among those that he knew so well. He knew that God's grace was at work in them. And yet this passage, this letter is still available to us today. Paul didn't know us. Paul didn't have us necessarily in mind as he was writing, but God does. And don't forget that this is part of God's inspired word. This particular bit was delegated, if you like, to Paul to, to jot down. But what uh, God's uh, work does is create uh, among all sorts of human beings the opportunity for his word to be conveyed for all generations from the day that they were first written and this is as the word of God this is a reminder that God knows that uh, whether uh, whatever his his prophets or his uh, apostles I should say are up to whatever is going on in their lives he is confident that all that we've been talking about over the last week and a day uh, uh, is going on. Uh, and all of you sharing God's grace with me. That's the, the crux of this verse, I think, for me at least at the moment. All of us, if we've uh, allowed Jesus, asked Jesus to be our Lord and Saviour, all of us sharing God's grace with Paul, the same grace that was available to him is available to us. And it's, it's because of that, that the confidence that we looked at yesterday can be expressed. God is at work in us. God's grace is within us. Sometimes we forget that just as we uh, forget to be confident in what God's up to. But God's grace is with us and continues with us in all things and in all circumstances. So as we pray, please, let's be remembering that. Lord God, thank you for your grace. Thank you that your grace carries us so wonderfully through so many different circumstances. And whether we are in chains or able to defend openly and uh, clearly the gospel, thank you that you are with us and that your grace is sufficient for us. Amen. Thanks for listening. Thanks for sharing. Take care.